Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the controversy surrounding Hindi versus English due to the recent statement given by the Home Minister Amit Shah. We are also at the same time going to discuss about the language profile of India that how or which languages are spoken in each part of India and how their uses have changed from past to now. So first of all the context in which we are discussing this particular issue is because last week the Home Minister Amit Shah have suggested in his statement that states should communicate with each other in Hindi rather than English. To give you a background to talk about if two different Hindi speaking states or uh, states having Hindi as official language are communicating, then really they tend to communicate in Hindi. For example, if Uttar Pradesh and Bihar we take into example, the communication uh, on the basis of government uh, between the governments are uh, occurring in the Hindi. While if a Hindi speaking state is communicating with other states that have some other language, for example, Tamil Nadu that has official language as Tamil Nadu, then they speak or they communicate in English. So this is something that Amit is suggesting to change that instead of communicating in English, they should rather communicate in Hindi. Now, apart from this, however, he has also stated that Hindi should not be an alternative to the local language. He is just saying that if we talk about compare Hindi and Tamil Nadu are taken into consideration Hindi and Telugu, then it should not be an alternative to these local languages, but only the place where English is being used, Hindi should replace it. Apart from that, what actually he has said that when citizens of a state who speak other languages communicate with each other, it should be in the language of India. And what does he mean by language of India? Language of India is something he has described as a Hindi. So that is why he is trying to replace or he can try to give an alternative. Hindi as an alternative to the English communication. However, if you look at the statement of opposition parties, they have highly criticized this move and they have said this that it is one form of Hindi imposition on the non Hindi speaking states. Not only that, there is one other matter that is going on in the northeastern states where the government has made an announcement that in the northeastern region, a government will make Hindi compulsory up to class 10 in schools. And that has not gone well with the northeastern population. And that is why one organization that is called as Northeast Students Organization or NISO in the sort, they have started to protest against this particular statement and also against the imposition of Hindi or introduction of Hindi as compulsory languages in up to class 10. Now, if we look at the profile of language in India and especially about Hindi, what we can see that in terms of growth of Hindi as a mother tongue, in year 1971, about 36.99, roughly we can say 37% of the population have declared Hindi as their mother tongue. And since 1971, it has continuously increased. And as per the census done in year 2011, it is believed that about 43.63% of India's population consider Hindi as their mother tongue. That means in last, we can say 40 years, the language of Hindi has increased its share from 37 to 43, almost 7.6%. Apart from Hindi, if you look at the next largest mother tongue, it is Bengali. But if you compare with in terms of percentage population, it is very, very less. Just 8% of India's population have considered Bengali as their mother tongue. While 43.6% population consider Hindi as their mother tongue. So definitely, if you look at from this particular graph, you can say Hindi is a dominant uh, language that is spoken or that is considered as a mother tongue by many people of the country. Apart from that, if you talk about not only in the terms of percentage population, but even in percentage growth in number of speakers, the maximum percentage growth in number of speakers has happened in case of Hindi, where it has grown between 1971 to 2011 up to 160.5%. The next is Punjabi that has grown by 134%, then we have Mathli at 121%. Apart from that, from bottom, the least growth that we have observed in three languages, that is Malayalam, that is largest spoken in Kerala, then Assamese of Assam, and then we have Urdu. So in bottom three, we have Urdu as is Malayalam seeing the least growth. At the top three, we have Hindi, Punjabi, Mathri that is seen as the highest growth. Similarly, in terms of percentage of population, we have Hindi, Bengali and Marathi that almost if you combine them together, it will be about 58 to 59% of India's population speak either of these three languages. While at the bottom, we have Punjabi, Assamese and Mathri which comprises of almost 6% total population that collectively speak this Punjabi, Assamese and Mathi. So what you can say apart from this mother tongue, the other observation that has been made by the language, uh, the census was that nearly 13.9 crore of India's population in percentage term that will be about 11% of India's population reported Hindi as their second language. 
That means now we have 43.6% population considering Hindi as their mother tongue, 11% considering them as their second language. That means collectively we can say about 54 to 55, 5% of India's population are associated with Hindi as first language or second language. Now, apart from this, other observation that you can make is that a number of mother tongues other than Hindi have faced a decline in terms of share. And in this, the most important ones are the Punjabi, Assamese and Malayalam that have seen a decline in the terms of share. Apart from that, if you look at between 1971 to 2011, the number of individuals who declared their mother tongue as Hindi that has multiplied by almost 2.6 times from 20 crore to 52.8 crores. Now, obviously, the question arises that why such a high number for Hindi speaking population? This has been explained by anthropologists and sociologists on three grounds. The first ground is the population density or overall population of India. If you look at the three major states that is having the highest population in India, we have Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. And these three high population dense states also have Hindi as their mother tongue. So that is the one reason. High population, obviously that means high number of people for that particular language. Apart from this, as per the report published by People's Linguistic Survey of India, the chairman of this particular organization or uh, this People's Linguistic Survey of India believes that one major reason why Hindi dominates the scene is because the census commissioners or we can say the census enumerators have grouped numerous mother tongue as Hindi. However, it is not Hindi. The most important or most obvious example is of Bhojpuri. Now, Bhojpuri is considered as one of a dialect of Hindi. However, there has been continuous and growing demand of including Bhojpuri as one of the uh, one of the said, uh, this eight scheduled languages uh, out of 23. So, 65 mother tongues, it is believed as per the population, People's Linguistic Survey of India, that 65 mother tongues has been merged or has been grouped together as a Hindi. And Bhojpuri alone is around consisting of five groups. That means if we try to try to uh, identify or try to characterize all these mother tongues as separate language then the number of peop is, uh, people speaking Hindi or considering Hindi as their mother tongue will sharply decline. So that is one of the reason why we have such a high number of Hindi speaking people. Now what about English? So English obviously is one of the two official languages of the central government apart from Hindi. However, it is not included in the 22 languages that is in the 8th schedule of the constitutions. Keep in mind that in English is an official language but not is a language included in the 8th schedule. However, in terms of the mother tongue, about 2.6 lakhs people of India have characterized English as their mother tongue in year 2011, which is very, very tiny fraction of the total population of India. Total population is around, we can say, 120 crores. Out of this, around 2.6 lakhs only people are there, uh, only 2.6 lakh people are there who consider English as their mother tongue. And out of this 2.6 lakh people, in the state of Maharashtra alone, over 1 lakh people consider uh, English as their mother tongue. And in the rest of India, remaining 1.6 lakhs. That means roughly we can say about 40% of English uh, people who consider English as a mother tongue are located in Maharashtra itself. Now, we talk about English in some other parts of India. So, what we can see that about 13.9 crore people, we have discussed this before also, that about 13.9 crore people of India consider Hindi as their second language. And about 8.3 crore people of India consider English as a second language. That means just a small difference is there between Hindi and English as far as the second language is concerned. And it is on this ground, many experts believe that English should also be included in the 8th schedule of constitution as it has become a very important part or very important tool of communication between the Indian population. Apart from this, if you look at the northeastern regions, the seven states of northeastern India, English is generally preferred over Hindi in many parts of northeastern states. And if you look at the state of uh, this, uh, if you look at the regions of Kashmir, it is believed that among 68 lakh with Kashmiri as their mother tongue, 2.8 lakh declare their second language as English compared to 2.2 lakh for declared as a Hindi. What it means that in the region of Kashmir, the highest percentage of people that speak uh, that is, uh, are the one who speak Kashmiri language as their mother tongue. Then at second language is not the Hindi, it is the English with 2.8 lakh people. And at the third uh, third state or we can say at third place we have the Hindi that is 2.2 lakh people speaking this particular language. So that tells us all about the distribution of Hindi and English speaking people all across the India. I hope you understood about this particular point. Thank you very much.